Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing my hair routine video today. This was requested. Basically the products I use, um, the tools I use, and basically how I take care of my hair. Hair is really nothing special. I want to say something real fast. I have never, ever, ever added any color to my hair before. Um, if I probably would if um, my mom actually paid for it for me, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, when I get a job, I'll probably get some highlights because I like, I'm a natural blonde. This is all natural right here. All natural highlights. Um, it's, it's starting to get like brown. I'm not sure if you can see underneath a little bit. And on my roots a little bit, but it's okay. And when I turn go completely brown, I'm pretty sure I will dye my hair. Or not dye it, but low lights, highlights type thing. And another thing I want to say real fast is if you notice my eyebrows are red, it's because I just got them done like an hour or so ago. So they're still really red because my eyebrows are so red and my eyes water all the time when I go get them done. So, but I love getting them done because they look so much better and I just feel so much better about myself. I'm weird and I'm freak about that because my eyebrows have to look good all the time and they looked awful before. So, sorry if you saw that in any videos, but cha. Okay. First, I'm going to start out with my shampoo and conditioner. The phone is ringing. I always get in. Thank you! So as you can see, my hair looks like it's naturally highlighted. Like, I'm just going back to that now. But, I don't know. I don't know. And I have side bangs. But I'm going to get my hair cut on Wednesday. And today is Saturday. So, that means that I will probably get my... I'll get my bangs cut because I need to be cut. I'll probably get them, like, there or something. But I have side bangs, and I always wear my hair parted to the side, if you can see it's kind of messed up right now. But I pretty much always wear it parted to the side, and my hair is not that long. I so wish I had a beautiful long hair, but I don't. It's down to about there. And I wish, I'm trying to grow it out, but it's, my hair grows so slow, so it's going to take forever, you guys, forever. And there's, there's another thing I was going to say. Yeah, um, my hair is layered, I think. Um, just a little bit, though, like you can see my layers... There's like that, and then it gets longer, you know. And it's really nothing. It's just like subtle layers. I like it like that, though. I'm not sure why, but yeah. And uh, one more thing I want to say is my hair right now, I'm washing it tonight. I usually, I wash my hair every other day, so it's not like, I don't condition it every day. I don't shampoo it every day. I don't think that's good to wash your hair every day. I do take a shower every day. I do wash my body and take a shower every day, though, but I just don't wash my hair every day. Um, Yeah. So let's get into my shampoo and conditioner already. So I used to use Herbal Essences, Garnier, I used a bunch of things, but I think that Pantene is my favorite. I'm not sure why, I don't know, I just really love the smell of these. These smell so good, they smell like just like clean fresh hair products. Yeah. Um, I get the For Fine Hair, except my mom bought this a really long time ago and this is just an old, not old bottle because these are both full bottles. I haven't used either of them yet because it just ran out. I actually just bought this one like five minutes ago. Okay, maybe it was like 15 minutes ago, but still. Um, for shampoo, I always, let's pretend that this is fine. So, fine hair because I have such thin hair, you guys. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but my hair is so thin. Like, it's straightened right now. Like, I straightened it yesterday, so it's like, still, it's like straight. But when it's straightened or flat iron, whatever you want to call it, it looks a lot thinner. I'm not sure why I like it like that, but I just do. And my hair is so thin. I like it thin because it's easy to manage, you know, but that's how much hair I have. That's it. Okay, that is it. And it's okay. I kind of wish I had thicker, prettier, longer, blonder hair, but I don't. So we're going to deal with what we have. Okay. After. I'm going to go upload my Bath and Body Works haul now. I'll be right back. Okay, so where was I? I was on shampoo. Um, basically, I just use shampoo like anybody else in the shower. Um, I just like Pantene, and I get the flat to volume because since I said my hair is so flat and out, it is. Because my hair is so flat and thin, I need volumized a little bit. I don't know if it really works for that, but whatever. And then I usually get the huge bottle like this of both of them because it lasts me forever. And I use a whole bunch of conditioner when I use conditioner. I probably should not use that much at all, but I do. I don't even want to tell you guys how much I use. It's just ridiculous. And this says, Lightweight System Boosts Hair for All Day Volume. <laughs> And, I don't know, I just love the smell of this. And I've been using this for about maybe a year and a half, two years now. Okay, so that's my shampoo and conditioner. And then, usually when I get out of the shower, I know, if I know I'm going to be like, hold on, awkward, straightening my hair. Or, um, 
doing something with heat that day, I will use my heat protectant. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. I like this because it smells really good. I am so picky about good smelling hair products. But this is the cheap one. I want to get the Chi 44 Iron Guard, probably for Christmas or something, because I want to try that out and see if there's a difference between them. I'm not sure. Um, but looks like that. I got this from Walmart for like three or four dollars, and it's really good. And so I just spray that all over my hair and let it dry. I think you're supposed to use it like right before you straighten your hair or do something, but I don't do it like that way because I'm I'm special. Um, and then okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my tools now. So we're kind of going in order. So that's washing. That's when I get out of the shower. That's like the only product I use. And then I will show you now my hair straightener. Um, I used to use this one from Colorful Seasons. It was pink and it was by her style or something. I don't even know. I gave it to Jillian. Um, but it was okay. I wasn't loving it. And then before the school year started, I got my Chi. Um... It just looks like this. It's called. It's the purple chrome, and it's the ceramic one I got from Ulta, and it just says chi, ultra chi, yeah, ultra chi. And I love this. I think it works really well. I think it's really pretty, like a sleek purple metallic color. I think it's really pretty, and um, it just has an on and off switch, so it's not really that complicated to use either. I just love this. I love this so much. It's so easy to straighten your hair with, and. I love this so much. I totally recommend this. Okay, and then when I'm done straightening my hair, I always use my Chi Straight Guard. This is a smoothing styling cream, and this is absolutely, absolutely one of my absolute most favorite products of all time. Not even for my hair, but for anything. And I got this from Target. It was about $15, $14 or $15, but it's so worth it. OMG. It just, I use a little bit in my hand, and then I rub it in my hand. You just put a little bit squirt a little bit in my hand, rub it together in my hands, and then I put it all throughout my hair, and it, I think it makes my hair very sleek, straight, it keeps it shiny, and I just think it really just keeps it straight and keeps away the frizz. It looks like that, and it smells, it is the best smell I've ever smelled. It smells like men, man's, men's cologne, yeah, it smells like men's cologne a little bit, but I love that smell. can't really smell it from here, but let's see if I can describe it better. No, I just love that smell. I love it so much. And it like locks, so like it's closed right now. So if you were to press that, nothing would come out. And then if I were to press it now, everything would fly everywhere and I'd be upset. Okay, so that's pretty much how I straighten my hair. I never blow dry my hair, like pretty much never. If I do, I will use my mom's Chi Rocket blow dryer, but I never really use that. And then for hairspray, I got this for Christmas last year. This is the Kenra Volume Spray. It is the Super Hold Finishing Spray number 25. That's the biggest index hold. And I got this like almost a year ago, like 11 months ago, and it still has a lot of product left in there. I think it works really well. I usually don't use hairspray unless I'm curling my hair or unless I'm um, pretty much only use hairspray if I used to use it all the time. Like if I were to have flyaways up there, I would just kind of go um, like that and just spray it down. I still do use this sometimes, but not all the time. Or if I'm putting my hair back like right here, I'll hairspray it. I don't know. I just really love this. It really works well, and my mom has the same one. Also, I'm just going to show you guys this. That came, it came with a baby. Um, this is the 13 index hold, so it's not that much. But this is the perfect medium spray. What is the other one called again? Super hold. Um, this is me medium hold for movable, touchable styling, and I use this when I'm traveling. You know, wee wee. And it has a red top instead of a black one. Just a second to show you this because I do use this still suit too sometimes. Okay, now I have a curling iron and I never use this curling iron. I do. I used it for Halloween once, twice actually. I use it sometimes. Like it takes forever to curl my hair though because it's like so small. I don't even know. I found this under my mom's sink and I just kind of used it. I don't even know what that says. You can read that. It's like, I don't know, it's a good curling iron, but first of all, it's going to take forever to untangle. So we're going to try to speed this up here. Okay, so it just has an on and off switch, and it's so tiny and has a barrel. I like it because it gives very nice structured curls, and yeah, they fall out pretty easily, but it's okay, and it just looks like that. Really small, I don't even know what that thing's for. I really want to get the Remington, I think it's the Remington uh, clampless curling iron, I want that for Christmas, 
bow. I really want that because I can do like bigger or smaller waves with my hair. I also forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of this video that my hair is naturally wavy. If you want to see what my hair looks like naturally, go check out my October favorites video or you can go check out my products I regret buying tag video. Things like that. When my hair does not look like this and it looks kind of wavy like randomly in some random areas, that's my natural hair and I hate it. I hate it so much, but it's okay. Also, I've really gotten into scrunching my hair. So, when I scrunch my hair, I use these products. These are the John Frieda Frizz East products. First, I'll do a whole scrunching video, probably. But I'm just going to show you the products I use for now. I'm not going to go down to really how I do it. But this is the uh, Clearly Defined Style Holding Gel. Also, they both smell really good, too. Yes, this smells so good. So there's the gel, and then this is the Take Charge Curl Boosting Mousse. And this also smells so good. All hair products, I think, have a really nice smell to them. So I use those two things. And then I always use my hairspray when I scrunch my hair. Also, I have this product. This is the Garnier Fructis Style Brilliantine Shine Glossing Spray. I never use this. I've used it a few times. Like, if I already use it now, I would just go... But I never use this. Um, it makes my hair look greasy, I think. Like, I don't know, I used it once, and I think maybe I used too much or something, but it made my hair look so disgustingly greasy and wet. I don't know, it's okay to use sometimes, I guess, but only when my hair is, like, straight, I would use it, but... It was my mom's, so I just kind of took it, so I never really use it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what hairbrush I use. This is the Conair Disgustingly Hairy Brush right now. Like, it has a bunch of hair in it. It's this purple, and I really like the gel ones. I've gone through a lot of these ones. I brush my hair constantly you guys I'm at school constantly brushing my hair because I take like a mini one with me I brush my hair all the time and you can ask Jillian she gets so mad at me for brushing my hair all the time I don't know I have a problem with it also I do that a lot I do that a lot you know you'll see that in videos and it probably will get annoying but that's why my hair sometimes in a headband or in a bobby pin or something but cha also I use this comb I don't know why I'm showing you this this is also from Conair but that's how I part my hair I will go like that when it's wet. I always part it when it's wet, and I go like that, and it just kind of parts it for me. So that's, that's nice. Um, and when I am in the shower, when, like, I don't want to wash my hair that day, I will use a shower cap. So, yeah. Just like that. I don't know. I feel like I'm leaving something out. I've showed you all the products I use. I've showed you the tools I use. Um, sometimes I like to braid my hair when it's wet, you know, and then you'll unbraid it in the morning, you sleep on it, you'll unbraid it in the morning, and it looks um, wavy. I sometimes do that. Um, I'll sometimes take bobby pins. Here's the bobby pin. And sometimes I will just kind of pin it back like that. I really like my hair in a ponytail only when it's straight, so I don't like wearing my hair in a ponytail when it's not straight because when it's straight, it's very soft and sleek and shiny, and yes, and sometimes I like doing this. This is one I just discovered, so I'm just going to take my bangs. I'm just going to show you guys hairstyles too. Wow. It's a bonus. So if I were to just take my bangs, I have had bangs that just kind of like come across here, like blunt bangs. OMG, not for me. And I'm just going to split that in half there. And then I'm going to take that first piece yeah, Go over that. And then you just kind of twist it because, listen to me, I can't braid. I cannot braid my hair. I don't know how. I've tried to learn from so many different people and they just can't teach me. So this is as close to as I can get it by myself. I also really like wearing my hair in a side braid, but my hair is not exactly long enough for that. So I do still do it anyway because it looks cute, but yeah. Um, so I think that's really, really cute. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this now. Okay. I think I showed you guys all the products. If I forgot anything, I'll put it down below. And yeah. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I think I'm done now. <laughs> Alright, um, this, is, this was a long video. I'm sorry, but... I try. I try. I try. Okay. Um, bye.